Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. Most of you already know this, but little backstory is I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to maintain the weight loss for the past couple years. So today's gonna be another example of how you can lose weight and also maintain your progress. Please also keep in mind that you can alter any of these to better fit your dietary needs or taste preferences. I will also have discount codes and links for everything mentioned as far as appliances, etc., in the description box. So be sure to check that out. So first up is today's breakfast. I'm going to make some hard boiled eggs by steaming them. So I'm simply going to place the allotted amount in my steamer and steam these for 20 minutes. I personally love the taste of hard boiled eggs. They're also very convenient for on the go. So I'm going to have one of these. Next, I'm going to take a handful of strawberries and slice these in half. Then I'm also going to have a piece of thin oatmeal toast and top this off with peanut butter. Today I'm going to use the PB Fit. This is actually powder peanut butter. It's super easy to make, but it's also a really healthy option for those of you who are trying to cut out some of your fat intake. To make this, all you do is take two tablespoons of the powder peanut butter and about one and a half tablespoons of water, then stir it until it's smooth to get that peanut butter consistency that you're used to. And just spread that right over top the toast. I also recommend making the peanut butter prior to toasting your toast. That way your bread is still warm and it helps the peanut butter melt, but that's just preference. There's many different brands out there, but they all have the same concept. This stuff is also great to add to your protein shakes or smoothies for added flavor. So you can see here the comparison from the peanut butter powder to original regular peanut butter. You don't have to completely remove peanut butter. I just like to limit my intake of it because it is a high fat. And I also like other high fat foods. So it helps me keep a balance by sometimes replacing the peanut butter with powdered peanut butter. and now you can enjoy. This is a really easy and convenient but balanced breakfast. Next up is lunch. So we're going to make a BLT without the bread. So this is a very low carb option. It's just as filling and just as tasty. So what you're gonna do is take a head of lettuce and rip off a bunch of slices. This is going to replace your bread. Then you can slice up a fresh tomato, hard boiled egg and half an avocado. Then you can layer each of these onto the lettuce. I also cooked up three slices of bacon and broke these into smaller pieces. Top it off with pepper or maybe another Mrs. Dash and you're good to go. Look how delicious this is. It's so tasty and extremely filling. This is definitely one of my go-to options for lunch and dinner especially in the summer months. It's something that's on the lighter side. It has a lot of texture to it with the crunch of the lettuce and bacon, and I find that it's filling. Moving on to dinner. So let's start with everything you need. This of course is flexible. You can add, remove, or swap out any of these items to better fit your taste preference. So first you're gonna need juice from a whole lemon, then half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, I will warn you, this recipe is a bit more on the spicier side, so if you prefer less heat, of course you can alter this. I also put in half a teaspoon of the Mrs. Dash lemon and garlic flavor, fresh ground black pepper, three cloves of garlic minced, one or two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley leaves, one fourth cup of chicken stock or vegetable stock, that's up to you, and about two tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. For my noodles today, I'm going to use the Green Giant Veggie Spirals. This is actually zucchini. So it's up to you if you have the time or the tool to zoodle your own zoodles <laughs> made from squash or zucchini. However, if you are short on time, this is also an easy go-to option. They don't taste as good as fresh zoodles, but this is a good thing to have on hand. And here's the nutritional facts if you're interested. So you can see this sticks to a very low carb, low fat, low sugar, low sodium, basically all around low. It's gonna give you a very low base to work off of. Then for my protein today, I'm going to use shrimp. If you don't prefer or cannot have seafood, of course you can swap this out for chicken. Personally, I'm a huge seafood fan. This also is very high in protein. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat up our shrimps. These are pre-cooked, however, if you are getting raw shrimp or raw meat, you're of course gonna have to cook that first. Then I'm going to add in my ingredients, so the chicken stock, lemon juice, as well as all my herbs and spices, and let this simmer for about two minutes. 
While this is cooking, I'm also going to put in my zoodles. So these need time to cook. Depending on your microwave, I recommend you give it six to seven minutes. The longer you cook it, the softer the noodle will be. If you prefer it to have a slight crunch texture to it, then go for a little less. Once that's done, you can add the zoodles right into the shrimp and sauce here. And again, you're going to thoroughly stir this and cook for about another two minutes. Then I top this off with Parmesan cheese to let this melt over top. You can, of course, add this in a bit earlier if you prefer. Then serve. So this portion or serving size is actually enough for three. I made enough for myself, my boyfriend, and extra for him to take to work the next day for lunch. This is a super easy recipe and it's great to have these on hand. It's also super easy to change up the flavor so you can have this multiple times with different tastes. Then lastly, I was craving something sweet, per usual. I am a big fan of sweets. So I took a chocolate rice cake. There's a bunch of ways that you can top these off to switch it up a bit. Personally, I do like to eat them alone. I like the chocolate or the apple cinnamon flavor, but today I'm going to give it a topping using the Ready Whip Fat-Free Whipped Cream. This is a really tasty option that you don't have to feel guilty about. It's perfect on many different things such as fruit or rice cakes. Then I'm going to make some more of that peanut butter powder and melt it and top it off on top of the whipped cream and rice cake. It's bomb. Here's a few more options to give you guys some more ideas of healthy toppings you could do with different flavor rice cakes. So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day. If you guys have more questions, be sure to read the description box. If it's not there, then you can comment below. If you enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to know which of these you're going to try, so be sure to comment that below too. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.